Yo, what's up YouTube? If you like footage that has a very high amount of sharpening that comes out of most of the cameras you see nowadays and basically you can see every single hair follicle and every piece of makeup that's in your talents or within your subjects, within your shot. Um, this, this video is not this video is not really for you. I'd probably skip past this video and, and check out another one. But if you like footage that looks nice and soft, uh, skin tones nice and soft, everything, the highlights kind of rolled off really nicely. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Black Promise filter specifically and how to kind of emulate that effect within DaVinci Resolve. Stay tuned. Okay, so within this video, we're going to talk about what footage looks like without any filtration whatsoever. Uh, what footage looks like with the Tiffin Pro Mist filter. This is a half step uh, Pro Mist filter and then what it could look like if you don't have this filter, but you still want to kind of use this effect or a similar effect within DaVinci Resolve. All right, so I'm not going to get into a whole lot of detail on what exactly the Black Pro Mist filter does. If you've clicked on this video, then you probably already know pretty much 90% of what it does. I think probably the biggest issue when running across either looking at this filter or trying to purchase it or whatever is the price point. The, these things run about $250 to $300 and you can get lucky and get them used kind of like I did. I actually won mine on an eBay auction for $75 I think it was. Like I was saying earlier this one specifically that we're going to be taking a look at is the half stop. They do come in eighth, quarter, half, and then a full stop, which is probably a little too much. Even the half stops probably, probably pushing it for most projects. But at the end of the day, it's all personal preference. So like I said, we're gonna be taking a look at a half stop. A good area of interest to focus on for this specific clip is where the sun is setting. So we'll go ahead and crop into this area of the clip. And if we take a look at the cropped in image, you can see what the highlight roll off looks like without the filter at all. I'm really not gonna comment on it necessarily a whole lot. This is more so you can just kind of see it for yourself and make your own decision. And then as we switch back and forth from the Pro Mist filter, and then what I'll do here is I'll just transition between what the Black Pro Mist filter half stop looks like and then go back and forth between no filter and then with the filter. I'll do that a few times so that you guys can see it. Next, we'll take a look at this footage without the filter and then swapping back and forth between that and the Pro Mist effect that I've applied in DaVinci Resolve. So if you like that, if you like the amount of detail that has been brought out from this Pro Mist effect in DaVinci Resolve, let's go ahead, hop over into Resolve and we'll see exactly how it's done. Okay, so here's the raw clip. There's only one node. The first thing we'll do is we'll hold down Alt and hit S and L back to back. What this is gonna do is add two corrector nodes and then finish it off with a layer mixer here at the end. The first thing we'll do is take this layer node here and go into the composite mode, switch it over into screen, and then head over into this bottom node that it made here. We'll look at Gaussian blur and we'll put that Gaussian blur over top of it. And the first thing we'll do is go ahead and crank this blur all the way up and make sure that instead of black, it's on reflect. All this does is it just spreads out this blur effect across the entire frame here. As you can see, this is, this is clearly not the look we're going for, but trust me, it gets better. The first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and start adjusting our exposure curve. The first thing we'll do is we'll start to take a look at where our shadows start to end. And in this clip, it's about right here. And so we'll go ahead and click there and drag it down. And right about there looks pretty good. All we're doing is we're just making it so that this Gaussian effect doesn't affect our shadows as much. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll take our saturation and just crank it all the way down. The last step we'll do is we'll go ahead and go into our key and then we'll take our gain and then just turn it completely off. I always like to turn it completely off just so that I can see what the effect looks like without anything affecting it whatsoever. And then I just slowly start to bring it back in to where it looks like it's at a decent place and right about here looks pretty good if you just look at the highlights as you can see the highlights are just kind of rolling off right here all right so the last thing we'll do is we'll head over into this first note here and we're just going to simply start adjusting our curves down to where it brings the contrast back into the clip and right about there looks pretty good 
we can also bring down some of the highlights a little bit say about right there we can also bring some contrast back into the shadows a little bit by clicking two points one before the slope and then one after the shadow slope and what this does is just brings a little bit a little bit of contrast into the shadows this is before and this is after the last thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and add another corrector here and if we hold down shift it'll automatically slide in between these two nodes and we'll go ahead and reconnect these last two here and then we'll just add a little bit of a color grade onto this uh, onto this note here, which is kind of just makes it a little bit more darker, brings the sky a little bit more here. And this is what it looks like before. And then this is what it looks like after this whole silhouette effect here, obviously, is something that, you know, it's, it's an artistic choice or whatever. You can do whatever you guys want here. The main thing to think about or take a look at is the actual highlight roll off um, with this Gaussian blur effect that we talked about. The main point of interest for this um, specific shot here is the pro mist effect um, that we've applied through the Gaussian blur here on the bottom. Especially here when you look at where the netting is at and where the leaves come in, you can kind of see where it's kind of hazing it out or kind of making it more misty or blurry here in this section here. And this is what it looks like before and then this is what it looks like after. Here's what the Promist filter looks like. And then this is what the actual Promist effect filter looks like. And this is what it looks like without the effect. This is what it looks like with the effect. I had a chance to do a project earlier this week where I was able to utilize this effect across the entire project. I'll go ahead and show that next, but if you're not interested in it, I appreciate you guys checking out this small little tutorial on the Black Pro Mist filter effect in DaVinci Resolve, and I hope to see you guys in one of my next videos. Yo, if y'all haven't noticed, man, I've just been using my iPhone to do most of my YouTube videos now, and it's... <laughs> it's not that I don't it's not that I stop caring it's just that it's just easier I'm on the way to do some um, some side work outside of my music video production uh, projects so I'm not full-time YouTube by any means I still want to make sure that I place an importance on um, doing projects outside of music videos so today I'm actually looking at doing a gender reveal for a good buddy of mine actually it's not just for a stranger and no matter what projects that you guys work on just keep in mind that as long as you have a camera in your hand you are leveling up Shut my feelings out. You look at me like I'm different. Still, you stay cause you feel something real. Get so lost in my moments. Doesn't mean I don't need you. I, I, I fell in love with your colors. They kind of tell me what I'm thinking. I fell in love with the way we Oh, guarantee it's a guarantee. Yeah. Oh, what if it's not? Yeah. You got that? Yeah. Hella blessed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can get some, some bets on, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hot. <laughs> My pink collar dress. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>